Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial by me. Um, I uh, want to teach you today is about how to uh, do a batch render. So it's it's um, quite a simple steps, but there's a lot of small steps that you have to do. But um, just as you know, sometimes there's a lot of people that surprisingly that don't know how to do it. All right. Um, so I have my what I have here is my animation. Uh, when I just play that and show you. So when I play, you know, just a simple animation of the character throwing a ball and catch back the ball. All right, uh, just I build a simple scene. I'm gonna hide the the grid. I'm gonna build a floor. All right, just uh, just for this test. I'm not gonna color it. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna texture it. Uh, I'm gonna put some simple lighting for this. All right. So um, rendering tabs. I'm gonna put some directional lights. I'm gonna bring that up. Turn the light effect on. Just gonna turn the shadow. Mm, let's see. Two to one, something like this. I render this up. All right, see the animation there. I'm gonna go to the render settings. Uh, just make sure it's uh, production quality, and turn on the ray trace. So I got the. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna, not gonna use ray trace for this to make the render more faster. I am going to change the shadow. Don't mind that. I'm gonna turn off the ray trace shadow and use uh, that map shadow instead. I'm gonna put this to one zero two four. All right. Uh, filter size to about five. I'm gonna test that render. Okay. So I got a like soft shadow. Right, so I need to like brighten things up a bit. I will add a bit of uh, point light in the scene. Can I turn off shadow for this one? Make sure no shadow is involved. This is just like a light source that I put to just brighten up certain areas I put about 0 0.3 right when I render this up stick I see that wall and details not pure darkness okay that's just a simple lighting all right just to get that going um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a camera so a camera here <coughs> So let's say this will be my uh, shot one. So I'm gonna name that uh, cam underscore shot one. I'm gonna go inside the camera eyes. Right, turn on the resolution gate. Then I can actually animate this. See, I'm still having this uh, camera selected. So I'm gonna animate this camera. See, I put an S for the keyframe. Let's see, it's going to go that way. So let's see, like that. Okay, might be a bit too fast, but all right, so it's something like that. Okay, all right, let's say that's the one scene, I mean, one shot from your storyboard. So, how do we render this out? Right, so the duration here is from 1 to 50. Alright, so uh, and my animation settings I set it to real time 25 FPS. Okay, so that's for your information. Alright, now to render this up. Um, 
So first, if you want to render this out, you need to enter the the render settings. Okay, over here. Uh, you need to go to your common tab. All right, and then choose starting from the top here. So file name prefix is the the file name that you're gonna be uh, that you're gonna be using. Uh, and what we the output that we're gonna render is uh, as an image sequence, so that we can uh, compile it and I mean import it inside After Effects or Premiere for further editing. So there's a lot of uh, good use in terms of rendering uh, the output from Maya in image sequence rather than uh, a video format uh, you can check that out on the internet right most of the studios do that um, most of it is because to maintain quality of the visual so we can check that out by ourselves all right so i'm going to name this as shot one okay and then uh, file format i'm going to um, well usually uh, for actual actual production you, you need to use a high quality like image uh, format like TIFF or TAGA or TGA but for this I just want to save it into a JPEG alright uh, so that file will be a little bit more smaller but still have that quality alright so file name short one then it'll be a JPEG and then uh, file name extension right so all this while is a single frame so the 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 other formats for animation which is whatever is below it and besides single frames so the one that I, I like to use is the name underscore hashtag dot ext so what it does is uh, what you get with every uh, image sequence that you, you the name of the image sequence for every uh, every render every frames will be say name will be short one underscore hashtag is the numbered sequence let's say zero 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 one zero 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 two like that and then dot ext which means the extension which is the jpeg so it'll be short one underscore zero 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 one dot jpeg then the next frame will be you know short one zero 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 two dot jpeg things like that so choose this one it's, it's quite good all right uh frame padding just leave it to four and then we're gonna uh, add this uh, frame range so, so of course we're gonna start from 1 and end to 50 all right 50 there you go and yeah I don't have to touch any other of this so then renderable cameras so default is perspective just choose camera 1 all right and then uh, presets uh, of course we I mean this should have done earlier um, but anyway, I'm gonna use HD 720 so the framing will be a 720p size and yeah just basically just use that preset unless you want to do full HD you can use a uh, HD 1080 all right okay so that is uh, getting the settings done and then the next step that you're gonna do is uh, make sure you have the path here pointed at the right folder because image sequence you have you will have a lot of image image uh, frames right so you don't want to save it somewhere in the open like on a desktop so you need to save it in a folder so I'm gonna redirect this to a desktop but I'm gonna create a folder for this render all right so uh, I'm gonna click uh, how to change this path is basically uh, the shortcut here is uh, yeah by the way you can also see the file name this is the result it will look like this short one underscore zero zero one dot jpeg right see so we'll show you the preview there these are the sizes and all that uh, so let's change the path here okay so edit change project image directory so it will, op it will open a project window um, you can also get the same thing here project window right the same thing and the path that you want to change is the images all right and the images so click at the folder here and let's say I want to save it on the desktop uh, I need to create a folder for this so I'm gonna create a new folder I'm gonna name this of course shot one and then I'm gonna enter this folder and select so you can see the directory change already all right 
and accept so it's already updated and close all right so now it's ready to you are ready to render the your animation so go to the uh, menu sets here choose rendering and then you have under render you have batch render right if you want to cancel along the way when you still rendering your animation you can hit the cancel batch render to cancel it okay so I'm gonna click on uh, on batch render here if you click on, on the option here there's nothing much so basically um, this gives you some some either you want to batch render and close Maya or what things like that so I'm just gonna click batch render so what happened is it will render in the background all right um, you, you don't see it happening here but you can see the read the status line here so what ha uh, it will show you whether it's completed or how many frame have been rendered see it now it's, it's starting to render it's starting to render our in my animation here and if you want to check out your progress you can uh, go ahead check on my desktop here should be oh, where is that I'll refresh that that's my short one you can see the frame will increase it will add more and more so this is the image sequence that I mentioned right it's not in the video format it's just a multiple image sequence so you can double double click I mean you can access each one of these you can actually see the animation in progress right cool right uh, another good thing about uh, rendering an image sequence is let's say if there's a glitch or something if there's an artifact or some errors just maybe one or two frames well instead of rendering that again you can actually touch it up in Photoshop right like, like using maybe clone stem or something or you know those kind of accident that happen so that's uh, what that is one advantage of using um, rendering out in image sequence okay you're done good right so all my animation is uh, has already been rendered so if you want to move on to the shot 2 let's say you have a shot 2 so go ahead and uh, in the render settings here so let's say I have a choose your next camera all right okay choose your next camera by the way my camera I'm gonna select outliner and select my camera so actually I didn't name I named that wrongly actually so this one I'm gonna name that camera one uh, actually inside here I should name that uh, cam shot one so I named it the wrong place just now I think so yeah yep okay so then you get Cam shot one. Uh, what's that? There's something there. Uh, let me check. <coughs> cam shot one. Cam shot one. Maybe it's a bug. Ah, it's okay. All right. So, <coughs> uh, if you have another camera, so you should choose cam shot two. I mean, once you rename that into cam shot two, and after that, uh, you also need to change the the frame range okay so let's say after the next shot will be uh, 50 to 150 so you just retype that and then change the directory all right to let's say a folder for shot 2 say shot 2 like that so just change to shot 2 folder accept and then you're ready to go so render and then uh, batch render again okay so that is my short tutorial for today um, but it's a very important one how to do a batch render hope you like it uh, do support me subscribe and enjoy your Maya alright bye bye